Awesome. Welcome everyone to the last day of SLO Conf. It's been uh, an amazing four days. My name is Kip Merker and I'll be your host for this uh, final rendition of the daily uh, daily standup. So today, um, welcoming everybody back for the final day. We'll do just a quick recap of all the stuff that happened this week and um, I'll remind you of all the news and announcements. Um, share uh, something new, uh, the author panel, we'll tell you about that, and then uh, thank you and goodbye at the end. So just a real simple agenda. Thank you for being here. Um, you know, the the events of this week, we did a lot. We, you know, we had our daily stand-up, which was a lot of fun. We had our live labs. We did the author panel in Slack on uh, on Monday. Um, there lots of great, great stuff to do. The content is all still available to you, so uh, do go and... Uh, Watch that. Share with your friends. Go back and rewatch stuff that maybe you, uh, you know, didn't get to watch fully. Um, all that's still there for you, and will continue to be available. So definitely want to take advantage of that. But uh, today is your kind of your last chance, I think, for active discussion with the uh, the other folks in the group. Um, and you know, take advantage of that as well. Go to the sl the track channels. Um, get into the Slack. Go go. Make sure you. Uh, do any uh, follow-ups if you want to make friends or, or uh, plans with anybody that you met along the way. Uh, great time to do that and make sure that you can stay in touch. Um, you know, uh, it's been some really amazing conversations that I've witnessed in the Slack channels. I see people learning and, and getting new ideas and uh, it's it's really a lot of fun. So uh, go, uh, go Slack it up for one more day. Um, we actually crossed over 2,300 uh, register registrations for the event and you can see this is kind of a view of the uh the youtube watches looks like uh, it's an amazing amount of uh, people watching uh video four thousand views of the videos and it was in the i think it was close to 600 hours of uh viewing on the youtube videos so, so across this group 600 hours watched this week on youtube um really really cool to see that much engagement on the content and we've seen such phenomenal feedback i want to you know give it up for our speakers they did just such a great job um produced amazing content and uh, shared some really amazing, inspiring ideas and did it all with these very short, uh, punchy videos. Um, you know, it was uh, that much learning packed into that, easy to consume. So thank you to everybody who uh, contributed a talk or a, a musical. Uh, I wanted to point out, as I do every day, four, four videos you may not have seen yet. Um, just go check these out. Uh, they're they're a good place to start if you haven't jumped in yet, or maybe you overlooked these talks. Um, these are some really, really great ones to go into. They've gotten really positive feedback uh, and uh, high viewership already, so you may have already seen them, but definitely want to check these out. Um, so today we launched a video of uh, from the New Stack. Alex Williams from the New Stack moderated a panel of three uh, authors, and so uh, we launched that as well. I think uh, Urza might drop it in the chat or in the Slack general if you haven't seen it already. Um, definitely worth giving it a watch. Very cool discussion there. Um, that's uh, some new video just dropped today. So check it out, and uh, you know if you like it, maybe go drop into the author pan author uh, Slack channel and see uh, see if you have any comments there for those for those folks. All right. Uh, the labs are still open. Definitely want to go check those out if you haven't already. This is your chance to see um, actual SLO related technology in practice. There was a live lab uh, from Lightstep yesterday. I believe the video has been released or will be released shortly from the live lab, the, uh, the live lab from Noble9 as well. Um, go check out these uh, different technologies. Get your hands uh, dirty and uh, play around with it or watch the videos depending on what kind of lab it is. Um, uh, they're all there on slowconf.com slash labs. And then to re recap the week a little bit, I wanted to sh remind you, on Monday we announced the Slow Coach program. Um, this is where you can work with uh, services partners that are helping with SLOs, uh, helping organizations adopt SLOs. Uh, hang on, I'm going to stop the video of whoever that is. I think it's Mike. Oh. Um, the slow coach, good timing for Mike there. He's kind of the man behind the slow coaching program. But if you want uh, to get help with your organization, no matter what size you are, what stage you are in SLO adoption, you know, it's hard to do it alone. These companies are all committed to making SLO, uh, the SLO adoption uh, reality. So definitely want to reach out to these companies if you um, if you want help. Um, go to slowconf.com slash SLO coach and uh, you can find a way to get help uh, with your SLO journey. And then... On Tuesday, we announced Open SLO, um, and it's just amazing to me to see how much uh, uh, excitement this has produced already. And lots of people are reaching out, asking about it. 
We've heard about people who are using their own format they build internally to define SLOs as code. People are talking about how to uh, to use this project as a way to kind of align the industry around a single format. And uh, it's amazing to see the traction that is getting even in the early days. We'll have to keep that sustaining. I've heard some rumors that there's going to be a monthly uh, call. There's going to be some new um, contributor guidelines coming out, um, some stuff coming like that. So definitely want to check out OpenSLO, um, get involved, go to the GitHub, etc. And I'll remind you, yesterday we had a panel with uh, the some of the core contributors of the project. That video is live on YouTube uh, as well. So definitely, if you missed yesterday's daily stand-up, um, go, go check out that video and you can see uh, the interviews and the, or the, the panel we did there that I moderated with uh, this group of folks. Really amazing uh, discussion, hearing the story of why they're why they're involved, what they're going to go do with it. Um, and I, uh, I definitely encourage you to go watch that, get involved in, and help out if you care about SLOs, which you should if you're here. And uh, let's see what else we got. Okay, remind you about the team. And by, by the way, big thank you to the team here. Uh, uh, Urza, Danny, Kyla, Mike, Zach, all of you have done such an amazing job keeping things on track, making it look like it's smooth. I think some people have said it seemed like there was a team about you know 10 times the size running the event. Uh, no, these, these folks are all just super uh, engaged in making, making your experience great. So please give me a, give a virtual round of applause for our, uh, for our uh, uh, team here. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, anything in the chat, some plus ones in the chat would make them very happy, I'm sure. Uh, but if you do need help or if you are concerned about anything, uh, please come to us. We will help you sort it out however we can. Um, and uh, hopefully if you give them enough thanks, they'll come back and do it again next year. Okay. Uh, I want to thank our sponsors. Without their generous uh, financial support, this event would not be possible. And uh, it's really an amazing uh, thing to see these companies coming together, uh, supporting um, the uh, education around SLOs and letting us all run this cool event, um, spend time together uh, virtually from all over the world. Um, of course, thank you to, uh, to Google, to Lightstep, to Dynatrace and Honeycomb as our Let Slow sponsors, and of course, Noble9 as well. Um, thank you to all of you for, for your support, and uh, please do go say hi to these companies and thank them. If you like SlowConf and you want them to come back next year, go into the Slack channels and thank them for uh, helping sponsor this event, because if we want to do it again, we're going to need their support again. So make sure that they uh, they feel the love. Um, we have uh, the Slow Steady and Slow Burn sponsors. Again, amazing financial contribution, amazing speaker contribution. Uh, really great to have all these companies here. Go, go thank them as well. Make sure that... Uh, they feel like they're getting, uh, you know, some appreciation for what they've done to help make this event a reality. Um, it's really important. So, uh, thanks to everybody here on the slow, steady, and slow burn level. Uh, you, did, uh, you did great. We loved it. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to our media sponsors who helped uh, raise the awareness and to spread the word. Uh, definitely go check out the the DevOps.com coverage. Uh, there, check out the Newstacks uh, coverage as well. Like we said, we have that new author panel that came out today from the Newstack. So uh, great uh, coverage from both these companies. I will also mention that today, uh, DevOps.com just started recently, I think we're on episode two, started um, the SRE show. And uh, Jeremy Cooper from Noble9 is one of the hosts. And uh, I think there's a new episode dropping today, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Urza might send a link to that. When it drops, we'll put it in the uh, Slack general. Um, but it should be a very cool episode on SLOs. All right, so that's the thank yous. Okay, and then reminder that the fun continues. Uh, we have the SRE, the uh, Beyond Seattle SRE Meetup, which is actually lives in our same Slack space. We kind of converted it into SlowConf. We'll probably go back to it being the SRE Meetup afterwards. Dr. J and Jeremy Tinley both speaking at that event, and it's going to be super cool. That's next Wednesday, the 26th. So mark your calendars, go to meetup.com. Uh, join that and uh, you know continue this rhythm of slow comp forever. This is all we're going to do from now on is every day is slow comp day. Um, but come back for the meetup. Okay. Oh, I want to share something new. This is some new stuff. I don't know if everybody saw this, but we kind of started a little campaign called uh, NoSLA.org. And we've been kind of sneaking it in this week. So I wanted to tell you what it's all about on the last day. Um, I think one of the big ideas of SLOs is that it helps us move beyond SLAs. And we know that from a business perspective, a lot of uh, business folks are familiar with SLAs and we're trying to help uh, raise awareness that SLAs may not be good enough to actually create reliable software that's efficient. And the idea of pushing from uh, SLA to SLO and even all the way to SLOs as code. So we, 
we made these ad campaigns and sort of mysteriously put them out there. Um, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> uh, if you uh, go, go to noesla.org and there's a little surprise there. And then uh, over time, we're going to be evolving that web page a little bit and have more and more kind of uh, content that you can share with you know, your boss or your favorite service provider um, when you feel like SLAs are not necessarily doing the job. So um, we, uh, we highly encourage you to keep an eye out for more on the no SLA uh, uh, movement. Um, okay. But that's not all. There's one more thing that I have to share. And this is what you've all been waiting for. Swag. This is where I cue the thunderous applause. It's time for swag. Okay, I'm looking at the chat. No thunderous applause for the swag. Check out these cool t-shirts. And one of the uh, cool things here is that you can get one. And you get to decide which t-shirt you want. You can have the, uh, okay, look, I'm getting some woohoos now. Great. You get. You can either have the SlowConf 2021. Uh, I don't know what we're calling this logo. It's kind of like the uh, mechanical eye or something. We need to come up with a name for it. But um, that's a cool shirt. I like it a lot. The Roll Your Slow shirt is also, I think, hilarious. You get, um, you know, three different SLOs at three different SLO levels. You know, you can roll your dice and uh, pick your slow. And I know that's how most people pick their SLOs is they kind of just roll the dice. So uh, both are super cool shirts. I think everybody seems to like it. But here's the thing. You got to choose your shirt. Okay. Now, it comes with a very, very small catch, which is we want you to fill out an event survey. It will take you less than a minute, but it will tell us a lot about how you like the event and what we should do differently or, or better. I'm not ready to announce the next slow comp. I know everybody was expecting me to announce that we're going to do it. We just don't know yet if we can do it in person or what travel will look like. We don't know if we're going to do virtual or anything else. I, I will promise we'll commit to um, sharing the details as soon as we have them. And if you want to get involved in that, there's a spot in the survey for you to check a box saying, yes, I want to get involved. Um, go ahead and check that box and we can we can get in touch with you and see how you want to participate um, in stuff going forward. You know, we want to figure out the right way. This is a community event. It came from a, it literally came from a Twitter thread. We want to build this event the right way for you. And so give us your input. Um, be as clear as you can in the feedback. Really help us out here. And, uh, and that will be great. And that's how we're going to claim your swag too. So one of the reasons why I wanted everybody to come to the Daily Stand Up, and I know they'll, they'll come see it soon, um, is to get this. So there you go. Definitely fill the survey out. <clears throat> we're, we're actually doing it on a first come, first serve basis because we do have a limited supply. We got uh, a good amount of um, sponsorship money, but t-shirts and shipping is expensive. So the faster you get that in, the more likely you'll get one. If, you, if we can't get to you, you know, hopefully everybody who requests swag will get it. Um, but if not, uh, we'll, we'll let you know if you didn't make the cut and uh, we'll find some way to, to give you something. I also want to unveil another piece of swag that you can uh, optionally add to your swag order, which is stickers. Because I know everybody loves stickers. This is the uh, the, the cool uh, sticker die we put together for uh, SlowConf. This is all from Paulina, our graphic designer here at Noble9. She did just an amazing job on the branding um, across everything. We even threw in an open SLO sticker. So you can have that for your laptop and be cooler than any of your friends. So um, yeah, yeah, check the box. When you go through the survey, you'll answer. The first set of questions are the survey responses. The second set is your um, your swag order, pick your shirt and pick your stickers. And then uh, finally, uh, the shipping information will come last. I know you already gave us your t-shirt information. Enter it again, just so we're certain. And uh, and that way we'll, we'll make sure we have all your info and we'll be certain that the people who really want the swag get it. And uh, we'll be, we also send an email out to all the registrants um, and we'll post this in the general as well so that uh, we're sure we get it. But you do, you do need to claim your swag in order for us to actually send you the swag. So thank you very much for that. Okay. Now, I said that was the last thing, but I do want to put one last little bug in your ear before we sign off here, which is about um, taking what you've learned this week from SLOs and putting it into action. And we're hosting at this very same time next week, Thursday. So no matter what time zone you're in right now, the same time you were here, if it's if where I am in Seattle, it's 9 a.m. Uh, if, if you come back next Thursday, we're going to do a demo of uh, Noble 9 SLO platform. And we're going to show you how we can take everything you learned this week from... Uh, defining SLOs and getting your organization to adopt it to how to define the metrics and how to get error budgets in place and how to put error budgets into the different uh, workflows of the organization, how to do SLOs as code. We're going to show you how all that works in an end-to-end -end platform and we're going to show you how to make it happen faster than any other way imaginable, um, no matter what monitoring or stack you're using. And uh, we'd love the opportunity to just show that to you. It'll be a short, uh, short presentation and hopefully everything will click. If you're new to SLOs and you're saying, okay, 
I get it, I wanna do this, but I don't know where to get started. Um, give us a chance to show you how this works in our system and uh, we'll take it from there. And uh, I really do appreciate it, totally optional. But if you can come back uh, next week, I think you'll enjoy seeing that presentation. So um, Urza has just shared the link for that. Please do register and uh, we'll, we'll be happy to, to, to show you how Noble Nine works to get you SLOs and error budgets. Okay. And finally, that's it. Thank you so much to everyone. Thank you to everybody who attended. Thank you for your attention. Um, I've had just a blast this week and it's been uh, my honor to be here with you all. Um, and uh, with that, I'm just gonna say thanks and open it up for any questions from the audience. Any Q&A? Got my Q&A panel open. I'm ready for questions. I see a lot of thank yous which is great, so thank you. Thank you to all of you. I see, one more. How long will labs be open? That is a good question. I don't know how long the labs will be open. Uh, I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> I'm sorry. The ones that are videos will be available uh, indefinitely. I think the ones that are hands-on are gonna get shut down at the end of Slowcom. So I think today is probably your last day. I would say if you haven't done the labs yet and you want to, um, we'll do it. Somebody asked us to leave them open till Monday. I think we can probably accommodate that, but definitely go sign up uh, as quickly as you can. We may stop letting new people into the hands-on labs. So if you're going to do it over the weekend, Go sign up right now so that you're in, and then we'll make sure that uh, you're taken care of until Monday, okay? I think we can make that work. And uh, if you have any issues, just reach out to me or to any of the, um, the event team, okay? That works for, Ker for Jer Jeremy says it works, so we're good. Sign up today, it'll be open until Monday if you sign up today, okay. Um, any other questions? Okay, uh, let's see. Thank you for your wonderful session. Do we plan any for any documents to implement the same, how long are labs accessible? Okay, so labs, we just said, the videos will be live forever um, in perpetuity. The labs, if you wanna do them hands-on, sign up today and we'll keep them open until Monday. Um, for documents, you know, I will, I, I didn't really point this out, but I will say uh, we have a pretty rich set of uh, resources on Noble Nine's uh, resource library. If you go to noble9.com slash resources, we, hit, we publish tons of blogs uh, and articles on uh, SLOs and air budgets and related topics. So that's one resource. Um, I'm not sure of other ones that are specific on documents, but uh, that's one jumping off place you can go to. Um, and if you are interested also, please do check out the webinar next week um, where we'll talk about uh, SLOs and error budgets and how to get that up and running in your environment. Uh, let's see, uh, Connie, uh, just see the, see the um, link that Urza just posted. I hope I'm seeing your name right, Connie, okay. Cool, you're welcome. Okay, any other questions while well, you got me? All right, well, I, I'm gonna say thank you one last time and uh, we'll leave you there and we'll see you in the slow conf. I'll be hanging around for a bit. This is sort of like the end. We're not gonna have another stand up or anything. So this is kind of our last official thing we're doing together, but feel free to hang out, keep watching videos, keep discussing it um, and definitely fill out the survey, get your, claim your swag. Um, and, uh, and come to the webinar next week. All right. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.